Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make our own version of the chaffle. And we will get this exciting recipe started right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so recently there's been a huge buzz around social media for something called the chaffle so of course amazon comes and drops this off on our doorstep today <laughs> so if you don't know what a chaffle is basically what it is it's an overcooked omelet well, in a waffle maker it tastes a lot better than something that's overcooked yeah. it tastes just right to me well that's personally what my opinion is because there's basically two ingredients in it eggs and cheese and somebody was brilliant enough to mix this batter up and throw it in a waffle maker. I'll tell you how this came about. Desperation. <laughs> when you're like, I have got to make bread happen because I want a sandwich. Right. That's how it went. So, well, a lot of people have been making, a lot of people have been talking about it. So we figured we'd make a video on it. Again, this is not our idea. I don't know who like came up with the idea. I've been researching. I can't find it. But we do have our own little spin on it because when I made it, I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. But it was a bit eggy for me. Okay. So we're going to add one extra ingredient. But this recipe is really so easy that even Rachel could make it. Yay! So I get to be here doing our chaffle recipe. Yes. Now, the first thing, obviously, you're going to need is a waffle maker. Now, the chaffle, the whole idea of this is, is you're going to substitute this as bread so you can use it for, like, if you're making a hamburger or a sandwich or something like that. So what this is, is this is a little four-inch waffle maker. It's tiny. I will leave a link down below. I actually have it right here. Don't I'm going to pick yourself. it up it's because hot. we're preheating it, but you can see it is small. Teeny tiny. It's four inches, and we got this one on Amazon for $6.99. That's super cheap. So it's worth it just to give it a shot. For yeah. $6.99, you can't beat it. Heck yes. Okay, so we're going to need a bowl, because we're going to let you do this. These are our favorite bowls. We need an egg. One egg. Ooh, no. Okay, you want to go ahead and crack that in there? Oh. <laughs> I guess we're eating shells now, because so I'm not easy. throwing out that dollar. Okay, even Rachel can do it. <laughs> okay, next you need some cheese. I've told you before, don't crack your egg on the edge I'm, of the bowl. I know, but it's like, I'm afraid it's gonna make a mess. Okay, so one egg, half a cup of cheese. Now, we really should be weighing it out, because so don't overdo it. That's too much cheese. That's good. So a half a cup of cheese is going to be about a double serving. Okay. So that is going to be two carbs. I mean, even no matter what this says. Now, this bag does happen to say one carb per sometimes serving. Sometimes they're a little Sometimes they'll say shady. zero. Pretty much every time you get cheese, it's about a carb per serving, a carb per ounce. Oh, car carb per ounce. Yep. So my little variation on this, we're going to add a little bit of almond flour. Not a, whole, not a big spoon like that. We're gonna add a tablespoon. Oh, okay. That's, that's all we're gonna do. Just do a better. tablespoon. And what I found, that's it. And what I found with this is it kind of gives it a more of a bread feeling. Yeah. It cuts down on that eggy taste a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna do some salt. Now, I don't know if I wanna trust you with this because we're just gonna do a dash. All right. Okay. Is that different than a pinch? No, a little bit more than that. Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon, but again, it's to your liking. That that much. They can't see that. Give your recipe a high five. <gasps> that seems way more than a dashy pinch. Go ahead and mix it all up. Okay. And it's okay that the cheese is not room temperature or nope, something. Nope, doesn't have to be. It can be cold. Like I said, this is basically all it is. It's a scrambled egg with cheese mixed in. And you're going to pour it into a waffle maker. I like where this is going. Now you do want to make sure you get it all incorporated so that there's cheese in every piece of the egg. Now this here is going to make two of these chaffles. Okay. 
I don't know where the name Chaffle came from either. Should it's it, kind of, to me, a silly name. I feel like it should be Coffle, because that's like a keto waffle. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So Did you, you butter this? No. Okay. You don't need to. You don't have so to butter me, I'm going to show them what this looks like, so you can see what it looks like in there. It's basically... You didn't have to spray it? No, I didn't spray it. All right. Okay. So you're going to divide this into two. So I would say about two spoonfuls right into the middle. Into the middle. This is supposed to be so easy that even Rachel can do it. You probably have too much there. Is that good? A little back. Okay. And then just take your spoon, if they can see it, and spread it around a little bit. And I'll close it up. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to overcook this thing. Now, how will you know when it's done? Well, this thing does have a little light. It's supposed to say it, but then once that light, it'll go off and it'll come back on. Don't worry about that. Just let it go for three or four minutes and then check it. And if it's not brown enough, keep it going. Now, what do you like to, to put in the middle of your chaffle? You can make anything with it. You can make a sandwich, you know, whatever you want with it. Now, we had an egg one last night, which was funny. Right? Yeah, I made you an egg sandwich. Yeah. So you had two chaffles. So basically, there was an egg and a half a cup of cheese. And then I put scrambled eggs in the middle and made your sandwich. It was delicious. Yep. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. It kind of needs to keep going a little bit more. You can see in there. I mean, it's done. You could eat it like this. Yeah. But I want it crispy. So we're going to let it go for two or three more minutes. Okay, so the first one is done. We got it here. And you can see it is... It's got a nice, like, like a waffle. orangey color to it because and of all the And then we're going to put the last one. Go ahead and just mix it all up first. No shell. I mean, mix it up. We got all the shell out. You got all the shell out? Considering this is my lunch, I hope so. Otherwise, your lunch, which is keto chow, and my lunch is this, is going to swap. Uh-oh. That's it. Close that one up. Pretty easy. Well, while that's cooking, we don't have to let them see the other part for that, right? We can just go ahead and try this. All right, go Okay, for it. so you're ready? Yeah. Now again, you could let it cook even longer if you want, but you can see inside. It's a little gooey. I like it. Yep. Ooh, it's nice and cheesy. But you could cook it a little bit longer if you want it even crispier. Mmm. Wow. With the almond flour, I think this would make a better grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. I think the almond flour just brings a little bit of a bready flavor to you, and you're not mm. adding a whole lot. You're only adding a tablespoon, so that's like 50 calories yeah. and like one carb. I think it's totally worth it. So, mm. good job. Thank you. So, well, that is our video for today. If you guys have made the waffle, the chaffle, let us know down in the comment section. Let us know some of the variations that you've tried it with. And what you like to eat, like in the middle. What's your sandwich? Is it like a club sandwich or bacon? BLT. Oh, man, yes. BLT made with egg and bacon and oh. cheese and lettuce. And oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm getting hungry. That day. Yeah. So, so if you guys like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.